Having animations and visuals in Second Life really improves your experience, but it can slow things down. If you're having trouble moving quickly enough when you're in Second Life, follow some of these directions. If you click me at the top of the screen and be sure you've signed in in the advanced mode, you can come to preferences and slide on to and click graphics and notice that you can increase the speed versus the quality of your pictures. So if you're having trouble signing in and getting things to move quickly, you would want to keep this setting low. And that was the way it was when I first came in. I'm going to now click and drag to a higher setting and you'll see when I close this menu I can see more things than I could see before and I can see a richer environment it will also take me longer to move around all of these pictures need to draw themselves builders can use ambient sound and if you want to turn that on or off you would also go up to me click on preferences and this time you would select sound and media and you would make adjustments you could choose to increase the volume or you could turn off selective sound effects and even if you turn off sound effects you will still be able to hear a speaking avatar important when you want to speak and listen don't forget that the speak button at the bottom of the screen has to be turned on for people to hear you you should turn it off when you're not actually speaking so that you don't get an echo effect when you have a number of people in the same place. As you know, to the left of that screen you can type text so that if you want to ask a question of a speaker you can use text if you can't get their attention through the uh, regular speaker channel. Also, when you first see a website it may appear simply as a blank. What you do is hover your mouse over the object and then you can click the home page you can then zoom in on what appears either by using the plus sign in the hover area or by using the alt on your keyboard bringing the mouse over the area you want to see clearer clicking it and then scrolling in when we're meeting in a group it would probably be a good idea to set your graphics resolution to low so you can move quickly have your speaker set but don't turn it on until you really are ready to talk Another thing you want to do is find a good place. The way this pod is set up, you can only hear if you're within a certain ear distance of the center of the pod. So when you go to sit, if you choose to sit in a chair, you right click on a chair and you'll find sit here and then you can sit. And if you are trying to hear somebody, you don't have to move closer you can simply press Alt on the keyboard, you'll get a magnifying glass, and then you would move to the speaker, or let's say I want to look at this particular slide, I would click it and then zoom in. So when you're actually sitting there with a group of people, you can stay in your seat, but you can zoom in and out to hear the speaker better. You're most definitely encouraged to come back later and to look at all the activities and posters that your colleagues have created and you can gain access to their wikis either through the Second Life interface or you'll have direct access to their wikis so that you can learn how you might participate in one of their projects.